Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from Kennesaw, Georgia, where I get to represent the Shibolic lifestyle here locally in the community. And I'm thrilled to represent the Shibolith lifestyle as part of my living out the kingdom agenda for King Jesus. You know, it's a part of that, and I'm thankful to have found that part. There was this missing piece there, and I am happy to have found that. And not only do I get to represent this locally here in our community, and I believe that each one of you are doing that locally in your community, we also have the beauty of technology where we reach way beyond our communities now. And many of us, some of our bestesses of buddies are on social media and we've never met them in person. So we can use this technology to create those relationships and be able to show consistency and living out the Shibboleth lifestyle as part of the kingdom agenda. When you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you're going to have today. I'm having an intermittent fasting perfect day. And let's see, I wanted to, so I'm to 138 now. Y'all know I'm trying to get back down to what I didn't do, what I gave up on in January, the 21 day challenge would have gotten me back to where I needed to do. And I would have done it with everybody in a group. We would have started together, finished together, but I gave up for the first time. Anyway, but now I'm at 138 and what does my timing chart look like? So my timing chart and you know, and I look at these things. I look at these tools because they encourage me and visuals are always a good encouragement. So my timing chart, it's got a bunch of flames on it, lots and lots of flames on it. And when I think back, to the fact that I was kind of questioning, how long is it gonna take to get back to this spot? If I were to go back to 2019, let's look at 2019 and let's look at the month of May in 2019. You know, I'm rocking and rolling here in 2019, all right? Look, there was no, oh, I need to have a holiday. Oh, I'm about to die. I need to have a holiday. There was none of that going on. That was a wedding weekend, and I knew I'd have less control, and I just wanted to have holidays. But then, I, I'm in the mood to lose weight, you see. And look at the month of June. All flames. If you look at the month of July, it's all flames as well. And so now that I'm in maintenance, you know, you can get a little impatient with, well, why hadn't that dropped off? Well, you start to forget all that you did in the beginning to get it to drop off. And so I've used this tool recently to say, okay, yeah, I can't be doing that and expect for it to drop off. So look what I'm doing. I'm putting some flames back in place to get where I wanna be. And it was nice to wake up this morning. It was nice to wake up this morning too a little bit more weight loss. All right, so we are on day 46 of the 2022 edition of the Game of Life. I certainly hope that you're playing along with me. The word of the day, 365 names, titles, and attributes for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Chief Shepherd. I need a shepherd. I want a shepherd. I do not uh, dislike being shepherded. I've, I, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that want to reject somebody trying to help them and tell them what to do. I don't reject that. I want the help. So thankful for um, Jesus being my chief shepherd. He is my king. Okay, so let's see who's on here with me this morning. I hope that y'all are listening to Travis's teaching that he's been done doing recently. If you need a restart, that's a great place to start. It is classic. Shibboleth, and it is amazing. So please go back and listen to what he did on the Shibboleth public page on Saturday, and then he's done a lesson yesterday at lunchtime and last night on the Travis Martin Weight Loss Ministry public page. Y'all go ahead and listen there. It's got you've got to immerse yourself in this in order to get it to be a full change. All right. Hey, Michelle, good morning. I am F. Day Carrollton, Georgia. Hey, Deanda, good morning from Smyrna. 
Hey, Cheryl, good morning. Tiger 16 day in Clarksville, Georgia. Hey, Karen, good morning. Finally got back on live. I am F day, Houston, Texas. We're glad you're here. Hey, Diane, good morning. Columbus, Mississippi. I am F day. Thank you for sharing. Y'all, those shares are important. They really are. Just click the button and let it get out there into the life of whoever needs it. We don't have to worry about that. We just click the button. Kathy, good morning from Michigan. I am F day. It's kind of like you planting a seed when you share. You don't have to worry about the watering of the seed. Let the Lord do that. Chris, good morning, Chris. I am F day, Jacksonville, Florida, working hard on my holiday weight gain. She's down 0.4. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, you know what? I'm giving you that because we always have to get back to work after it. So great job. Angeline, good morning. I am F day, perfect day, Cartersville, Georgia. What a beautiful name. Uh, Stephanie Gilbert, good morning. I am F day in Loganville. Hey, Marla, good morning from New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans. I don't know where I'm, I was going to say New Orleans, New Orleans. You know how I do. One time I said hello to somebody and it was hello and how are you coming out as hello. I found a bitmoji that had hello on it. So I thought, oh, amen. That means I'm not the only person that said that crazy thing. Okay, Marla, I need to plan a tiger restart. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk, Marla. Okay. Hey, Chris, good morning. Thank you for this reminder. Good morning from Michigan. I am F day. Hey, Amanda, good morning. Having a perfect day today. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for typing in Chief Shepherd Michelle. And good morning, Karen. I'm back and restarting with Travis. Awesome. It's a great place for everybody to just get that refresher. Okay. Even if you're in maintenance, do you know that I have enjoyed his classes so much these Saturday and then twice yesterday? I mean, just enjoy them. It's the classic stuff. Do you know that there's a foundation? And once you know the foundation, if you don't leave the foundation, it's it's there. You don't have to be reaching like what's greener on the other side. Just live daily the foundation. And that's what he's teaching right now. So let's go and let's get in immersed in that. So great job, Karen. We're glad you're doing that. Hey, Charlene, good morning from Michigan, having a perfect day. And Angelia from Bryson City, North Carolina, having an IMF day. All right. So I have a new thing I'm doing right now. Daisy. Daisy has found my new spot. You know, y'all haven't seen her since I've moved up here, really. Maybe a day or two, but looky day you're looky day you're. Hey, sweet baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. But this is a bigger chair than the one I was in downstairs, so I can get her comfortable and lay there with her in my lap. All right, so I finished Luke. Finally, two and a half months. Wait. All of December, January, yeah. Two and a half months it took me to finish what I was going to finish in a month in my mind. But hey, listen, I finished it. I finished it. And do you know what I've thought about since I gave up that 21J challenge in January? That when Travis teaches his class, it's the fact that you committed to doing 21 days. So if you give up on a day, then you just restart the 21 days immediately from that point. And I should have done that, but I didn't do that either. So, but anyway, um, these are things that if you think about them and analyze them and let them be a part of your life, don't feel like you're getting on to yourself. Feel like you're improving yourself. Feel like you are going through the the leadership role that you really can be within your own mind if you've given yourself enough education and everything. So be your own leader because when we are not all together, you have to be your own leader. You have to be your own coach on the shoulder, okay? So, but you have to listen enough to have these things be able to pop into your head. That's why you want to listen enough. But anyway, I didn't finish the 21 and now I'm like, mm, I see why he says that. But I also took longer to finish the book of Luke, but I kept at it and now I'm finished. Well, now I'm so excited to go into Acts because Luke finished up with Jesus's ascension. And then in Acts, it starts off with that same ascension and in the 40 days after and then what the church should look like. And so it's going to be a really great thing, both written by Luke. And you know, Luke wrote both of these um, books to Theophilus. And Theophilus, you know, it says must have been his patron, like someone who 
funded him, someone who helped him with his journey, someone who helped him with his research. Do you know that what popped into my head this morning was those of us who help the Shibboleth lifestyle, we're like, we're like those patrons to help Travis and Sasha continue this ministry. And when Travis goes live, when Travis tells us what's going on, it's kind of like somebody writing us a book as to what's happening with the funds that we give them, with the support, with the sharing, all of that. They're kind of giving us this back. So um, when I read Theophilus this morning, you know, as him, the patron, I went, oh, you know, that's kind of like those of us who give to the Shibboleth ministry and help. Travis gives us back information. And I'm totally willing to fund what Travis and Sasha do because I personally do not want to do all that they do. I, I mean, I'm so thankful that I have not had to spend 20 years doing the research that Travis has done. You know what I'm thankful for? That it's just there. That's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that I can access all kinds of information on the website. I'm thankful that Travis has woken up in the middle of the night many times over his um, his lifetime and thought, ooh, what if I added this to the website? I think it would help me and help others. He's not into, he's not somebody that just wants to help himself. He's there to help others. And he has paid a developer to put that on a website so that it can help many, many, many people, the multitudes. It can help the multitudes. Now, you know what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful that I didn't have to do all of that. And because I didn't have to do all of that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this thing with no investment. I mean, I'm going to do this thing investing in this that works. And I want future people to be able to do that. It's just like I love Jesus. I want people to know about Jesus. I spent many times in uh, teaching little kids at church. And, you know, I want to make sure adult Bible studies too. I want people to know that Jesus is there. We've got to fund the ministry and we keep sharing and moving forward. So, one of the things that I wrote this morning on a little post in the Shibby Show, and some of the things that I write in the Shibby Show, y'all, are literally just thoughts of my own. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody about what I write there. I'm, this is just what I'm doing to try to keep myself on track. But one of the things that I wrote was, and this is from Tony Evans's uh, Bible commentary. I really like this book. So what I'm going to do now, instead of doing a Bible study, I'm going to read the Bible, do the commentary, and, and just really enjoy the Bible again. Um, so, but I wrote Kingdom Agenda, the visible manifestation of the comprehensive rule over every area of life. And that rule is to be reflected and through the church. But what I wrote was the Kingdom Agenda is the visible manifestation. All right. If you want a visible man manifestation of something, you actually do it. And... People will see that you've done it. There's a visible manifestation. Living the Shibboleth lifestyle, there is a visible manifestation of what happens by being consistent and living according to the Bulletproof Shield daily. And God has a comprehensive rule over every area of our life. That includes food. It does. It includes food. And that rule is to be reflected in and throughout the church. Well, you know, the church is not a building. It's the people of God. So we need to be healthy people stewarding the one body he gets he gives us to live in here on earth. So we need to be good stewards of this body. Um, let's see. And then I highlighted this: the church exists to serve King Jesus, King Jesus, and His kingdom. That is his rule over every area of life. I'm just so excited about serving King Jesus. Think about that, King Jesus. And then I highlighted this. Just as new Christians are immersed in the water of baptism, Jesus promised that his disciples would be immersed in the Holy Spirit so that they would be empowered to obey their king and proclaim his kingdom. I just see living the Shibboleth lifestyle as a part of this. Um, some of the notes that I wrote down were um, 
anyway, I will, I just see this as part of living the Shibboleth, I mean, living the Shibboleth lifestyle is part of me being the best I can as a servant um, of King Jesus. And this is just what I want to do. All right. But some other things that I thought about, well, Tony Evans actually said it in the video that I watched this morning, because in this book, you can scan and he'll do a little synopsis of the book. So this is what he said this morning. The Holy Spirit is electricity in your home. If you don't plug into the power, you get no electricity. You've got to plug into the power. So what I thought about was plug into the Holy Spirit today. Plug into living the Shibboleth lifestyle for his glory. There's the hashtag. Hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Not doing it for your glory. You're doing it for his glory because he'll help you do it. And it's part of the whole comprehensive living out the kingdom of God. The power, the power is in the plugging in. There's where the power comes from. If you have the resources, which we do, and don't use them, it's like having a plug that's laying on the floor. Okay. So I, this is what I imagined. I imagined myself sitting in a chair, sitting in a chair, getting all comfy. Oh, there's a plug. <laughs> Didn't notice that. But sitting in a chair, getting all comfy, and knowing I'm sitting here in the dark and there's a plug over there on the floor, but I do not want to get up. I do not want to get up and I do not want to take that plug and I do not want to plug it in. Well, if that's the case, I'm so comfortable where I am that I do not want to get up and go plug in the plug, then I can just sit and be miserable where I am. But sometimes we have to propel ourselves. We have to propel ourselves to do the things that we want to do. Get up and go plug in. Plug in to Jesus. Plug in to the power. You have to propel yourself up to sometimes. It's just like you could stare at it or you can get up and plug it in. I've stared at stuff many times without getting up and plugging in. But I'm not willing to do that anymore. So we have to decide that. And then I thought about this this morning. You know how a lot of people, they try to, when they want to lose weight or they want to get healthy, they want to do both. They want to start a new diet, which this is not a diet. I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Remind me if I forget to say it, why this is not a diet. Some people want to start a new diet and they want to do exercise at the same time. And Travis's advice is to always, you know, if you're already an exerciser, it's not new in your life, just keep doing it and get the nutrition down. But if both of these things would be new in your life, just focus on one, then the other. And the first in order of focus would be the nutrition and then uh, the, the exercise. If you are eating in the proper way, you will still maintain your muscle. I mean, you might lose a little in losing weight, but if you don't eat the proper way and you're trying to lose weight, you're going to lose muscle too. And we don't want that to happen. That's where the nutrition comes in. So, but what I thought about was this, if somebody is feeling like I can't just do the nutrition, I got to do the nutrition and something else. Well, plug into the Jesus part of it. You know, because Travis has already given us the the idea that exercise is not what he did to lose his weight originally. It's what he's done doing now that he feels better. All right. And, you know, at the end of this 20 something years, you know, he's done that to feel better. But how about putting in nutrition and Jesus? Put those together if you want two new things to be in your life. Focus in on why this is Shibboleth for his glory. Focus in on that. It will make you, it will amaze you. As you are reading the Bible, you will be absolutely amazed at how you can translate taking care of your body and those proper habits with everything that goes along with living a, um, living a non-chaotic, structured lifestyle. The last thing I want to say today is when I was sitting here preparing, like typing in the little bits about the Shibby show that I type in to get the live started, my stomach was growling very loud. And I was laughing. I thought, oh, I wonder if they're going to be able to hear my stomach growling and that kind of thing. And you know what I thought about? It is so much easier to deal with actual stomach growling hunger than the mental of I just want to eat something yummy. That I can, I the stomach growling. I'm like, you growl all you want to, but the mental is different. So, 
there is a difference in this. We just gotta, we gotta plug in. We gotta plug in to learn how to deal with each one individually. All right, now let me tell you why this is not a diet. Shibboleth is a, it's a management system. And I've been saying that, that it's a management system. And when I started Shibboleth, I would have never wanted to say that I was a food addict. I've just said I needed to know the right things to do. And I do think that's definitely part of it. But all of a sudden, I'm realizing, wow, you probably are, you know, a food addict. Because you sure do think about it a lot. And you sure do want more than you're supposed to have. And you sure do have to discipline yourself a lot. Well, you, you must be. So, if you have a problem, you and you don't want to have that problem, or you know you have to have a way to manage that problem, you got to find what's going to help you manage that for the rest of your life. You've got to figure out what's going to help you and the Shibboleth lifestyle, it's a lifestyle, it's not a diet, it's a management system to help you deal with a problem. It's not a diet. A diet in the traditional sense that most people think, I'm going to go on a diet, it's not that. Is it your diet? Yes, it's your diet, because our diet is what we eat. But there, see that, out of the five things on the shield, only one of them has to do with food. The rest are habits. That's why it's a lifestyle and it's a management system. You're managing all the pieces and parts that go together to create the success. It is not cafeteria style. You cannot pick and choose. It's all five things every single day, 24 to 25 days out of the month if you're in weight loss mode. That's that. And it's a management system. I'm thankful for it. I'm so thankful for it. All right, who else is on here with me? Let's see, where did I stop? Good morning, Polly. Hey, Suzette, good morning. I am F in Southeast Kansas. It's a beautiful day to be living the Shibboleth lifestyle. It really, really is. Hey, Polly, I wanted to tell you, I think that this um, new week is going to be really good for you. Okay, so I, I know you're listening to Travis. I know you are, but it's going to be awesome for you on your restart. Hey, Julie, good morning from Indiana. I am F day. Hey, Valerie from Indiana having an IMF day. Chris says the, the information is phenomenal. It's true. We paid this much for 20 years of a lot of a man's life's work. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hey, Colleen, good morning from Michigan. Um, Polly says, I'm thankful too. I just need to take advantage of all of it. That's right. And this week's going to be good for you. Um, or this new uh, community program he's doing. Hey, Colleen, God calls us to give love offerings. That's right. Give into things that make a difference or are important for our growth. I'll be giving monthly to Shibola. Thank you for that, Colleen. Thank you. It's awesome. And it's true. Love offering. Hey, Kay Edwards, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Another perfect day. That is awesome. Hey, Angelia. Oh, good. Angelia got the job with the Sheriff's Department. Yay. So I'll only be on with you on the Shibby Show if they allow me to listen at work. Oh, I hope they will. Just say, hey, y'all want to listen? Praise the Lord. I got the job. That is true. Thanks for your prayers. Please continue to pray for my mother. Yes, I was actually wondering how she was doing. So I'm glad you said that. That's awesome. Hey, Diane, 80% of health and weight loss comes through nutrition. So true. Yes, it is. Hey, Jada, I've been telling everyone that it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. Yes, it certainly is. Let's see. Hey, Sharon, good morning. The five components, Hickson, Tennessee. Keep us in prayer. Okay, and Christine, y'all, Christine's mom passed away. Um, please give her some little care emojis right now. Christine, um, we will keep you in prayer. I'm sorry about your mom's passing. Um, her mom's service is Friday. Sharon says, my get out sign is in the pantry. Awesome. I love it. Thank you for um, putting the five parts of the shield up there, Diane. And you know what I thought about? You know, Travis is saying he's doing this community uh, program and everything. There's so much free stuff out there about Shibboleth. I mean, I taught Fast Track on the public page every single night. For months and months and months. If somebody wanted to know this program, go watch that. It Go back. You want to watch it? Start on a Sunday night. Watch it through the Monday night. It's all on the web, I mean the Facebook page. Public. Free. For everybody to learn. Hey, Christine. Christine's having an IMF day. Hey, April. Good morning. Day two of my new lifestyle. We're so glad you're here. That's awesome. Hey, Patty Bass. Thank you for sharing. Yes. 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 Awesome. Awesome. 
All right. Well, I hope that y'all have a great and wonderful day. I get to start off my day here at home. And yesterday I made a big decision not to go to a pretty big event yesterday morning. And it made me have a great and wonderful day yesterday. So I'm glad that I did chose to do that. And even though I felt some pressure to go to that event, I decided not to. And it was worked out. And then today I have an event tonight. So I um, get to work from home this morning. Christine, it says, I closed my kitten at 6 p.m. Oh, kitchen, uh, except Mondays. Make a plan and stay focused. That is right, Christine. All right. Well, y'all remember while we're doing this, hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. And if you are watching on replay, please type that in. And if you haven't journaled your day yet, go ahead and do it. Mark it. You determine your day. And with Jesus' help, you can keep it that way. All right. Let's see. Angelia says, my mom is doing fine physically, but her mind is getting more and more forgetful. She forgets my niece's names, and she also told me yesterday she was watching me put peanut butter on toast, and she had never had that dinner before. That's so hard, Angelia. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so, it's so sad and scary to see that happening. So, yes, we will keep her in our prayers. Um, all right. Y'all have a great day. Bye, everybody.